Hi everybody, and welcome to another episode of Economics with Mr. Jones. Today's topic is deficits, surpluses, and the national debt. This is a very important topic because over the past several decades, the United States has racked up quite a bit of debt, and there hasn't been much to show in terms of paying it down. And so this is a topic that should be interesting to you simply because it is most likely your generation who's going to have to answer to this debt problem. So the topics for the day. The first thing we're going to do is identify what a budget deficit is. Now, people are often confused between that and what you see in number three here, which is the national debt. They're two very different terms and ideas. The other thing we're going to talk about today is a budget surplus. It's basically the exact opposite of a budget deficit. So with that in mind, we can move to our first topic, and that is what is a budget deficit? The basic definition that I can give you of a budget deficit is when a person or a group spends more money than they actually earn during the same time period. Now, you can think of this as a shortage. So if you were to make, let's say, $5 a week, and you spent $10 that week, that would be considered a deficit. Now, I actually have a visual here that might help you out. Let's say Washington, D.C., our federal government, took in $1. Obviously, they take in a lot more than that, but for the purpose of this, let's just say they make $1 one year. And they happen to pay out $2 that same year. That would mean that we have a budget deficit of $1 because they paid out 2 but they only earned 1 now, most of you are probably thinking, well, can't they just print more money? Well, it doesn't quite work like that. The government can only take in taxes, fees, and that kind of thing. And that's what we consider to be their revenue. Their payout is how much they pay. So if they only take in a dollar, they pay out two, it's considered a deficit. They cannot just simply print more money and say that it's even. Here's a real example of a budget deficit from 2011. In 2011, the United States government paid out $3.8 trillion. That's the money that they spent. However, when you look at the taxes and the other things that they received, it was only $2.6 trillion. That's the money earned. Well, if you do a quick math, you'll realize that that means in 2011, the United States government had a budget deficit of $1.2 trillion in just that year. So budget deficits are when you have more money going out than you have coming in. Our second topic is kind of the opposite of a budget deficit. In this one, we're going to talk about a budget surplus. The definition that I'll give you of a budget surplus is when a person or a group spends less money than they actually take in during a certain period of time. Now, you can think of this as leftover money or perhaps savings. So, it's, it's pretty simple. We'll go to the same kind of chart we had earlier. But in a budget surplus, the government would take in, let's say, $2 in revenue. But they would only be paying out one. And in this situation, we would have a budget surplus of $1. We can look at it another way. And this is a real example of the budget back in 2001. And I believe this was the last budget that we had an actual surplus with. In 2001, the federal government spent $1.8 trillion. They took in $1.9 trillion, which is obviously more. This left them with a budget surplus of about $100 billion that year. So this is very different from a budget deficit, because with the surplus, you're actually making more money than you spend. So the last topic that we're going to talk about today is what is national debt? And this is a topic that should be even more important to you as younger Americans than even people like me at my age. The national debt is basically the total amount of money that is owed by our government that it has borrowed in previous years. So if you want to think about it as the United States taking out loans and not paying them back, and over several years, that accumulates into something called the national debt. So it's money that our government's borrowed and hasn't paid back. Here's a visual that might help you understand based on the fictional country of Jonesland. In 2001, 
we had a budget deficit of $3, meaning we spent $3 more than we took in. In 2002, we had a deficit of $2 because we spent $2 more than we took in. And in 2003, we again spent $3 more than we took in. If you add all three of those years up and consider it my national debt, it would leave us with $8 not paid. So this is money that hasn't been paid that's carrying over from one year to another. And what you're going to see with the real national debt is it's a lot higher than $8. So a recap, what have we looked at? The first thing we did was we defined deficit, which is a situation where a government spends more money than it takes in. We then looked at a budget surplus, which is not nearly as common, but it's when a government takes in more than it pays out. And finally, we looked at national debt, which is when you take all of those deficits, add them together, and you pretty much get your national debt. It's the amount of money that we still owe that we haven't paid back as a nation. So I thank you for taking the time to watch the video. Uh, your independent practice. What you're going to do is you're going to use the internet and a few of the handouts that I've provided to look at some real world examples of these topics. This means that you will now go and apply what we've learned today to some real budget situations. So I wish you the best of luck. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.